Hello and welcome to The Brief, where we'll bring you key economic developments that occurred in the previous week and key activities to watch in the new week. It is the first week in May 2021, and the recent launch of the National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy of the federal government calls for more implementation than good paperwork, as the incidents of rising insecurity and political economic instability in the country can be attributed to the rising tide of unemployment and changing social economic indicators. For the key financial markets and economic developments from last week, the Central Bank of Nigeria, following the meeting held by the Board of First Bank of Nigeria in relation to the appointment of Mr. Benga Shobo as the new MD CEO of First Bank and subsequent query to Bank's board, announced through the CBN governor in a press briefing the removal of the boards of both the First Bank of Nigeria and FBN Holdings PLC. The CBN governor described the First Bank of Nigeria as a systematically important bank, considering its huge customer base of 31 million, the quantity of its NIBS activity, which is about 22% of the total industry activity, and its customer deposit, which is about 10 times more than its shareholders' fund. Following the removal of the boards of First Bank of Nigeria and its parent company, the CBN announced new board members for the two entities. Dr. Adeshola Adeduto was reinstalled as the MD CEO of First Bank, while Mr. Tunde Azan Odukale as the new chairman, while Mr. Remy Babalola was appointed as the new chairman of FBN Holdings with Mr. UK AK as the group managing director. The Senate passed the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria Amendment Bill. This followed the adoption of the report of Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions at the plenary on Wednesday. Presenting the report, Senator Uba Sonny, chairman of the committee, said the committee engaged stakeholders, including AMCON, Ministries of Finance, Budgeting and National Planning, a Central Bank of Nigeria, and Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation before arriving at its conclusion. He said the stakeholders in their submissions suggested that AMCON be empowered to take possession, manage, sell, transfer, assign property used as security to eligible bank assets, among others. This, he said, would provide for a quicker, easier, and legitimate process of asset disposal. For the events to watch in the new week, the Trade Pass virtual event, Sai Frika will on Tuesday, May 4th and Wednesday, May 5th, 2021, host a forum that will discuss creating a cyber safe Africa. Also on Wednesday, May 5th, the Insurance Trade Group of Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry will host a forum, the 2021 Insurance Stakeholders Consultative Forum, that will explore the team, Nigerian insurance industry, breaking new frontiers. On Thursday, the 6th, the Nigerian American Chamber of Commerce will hold its May 2021 webinar on the topic, taking advantage of the AFCFTA in driving exports positioning and sustaining local industries in regional competitiveness. The event will have as guest speaker, Mr. Lushe Gwawolawo, Executive Director and CEO of the Nigerian Exports Promotion Council. And that will be all for this edition of The Brief. You can join our website on www.prosheng.com to read our news stories, reports, and also watch our videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and please stay safe.